सुनो मत बोलो श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वी आर स्टडिंग फ्रॉम अर्लियर सेशंस ऑनवर्ड्स देवी कालोत्तर अगम सो एम आई ऑडियबल टू ऑल और थोड़ी बढ़ा दो हाँ बस अब आप बैठ लो तो वेन एको इन दैट वहां से एको बंद कर दो मेक एको जीरो हाँ अब ठीक है हाँ एको जीरो कर दो हाँ बस बेटर good there are two aspects in our being one is the existence and second is the expression of the existence like there is fire and the potentiality of the fire they are so opposed to each other fire supports the forms the agni tatva is supporting the forms roop rang but when the same fire expresses its own potentiality the burning power all that is um supported by the fire is destroyed so fire supports the forms and fire destroys the forms so from the fire's point of view nothing has happened nothing will happen because fire doesn't get burnt by the burning power this is the foundation of understanding devi kalottara gama second important principle that we are all seeking something in our life and what is that we are seeking nobody is seeking miseries in life miseries come without efforts so for miseries we don't put efforts they come so why put efforts for happiness relax this is the purpose of studying this devi kalottara stotram so here it is expected 
that the students who are listening to this they have already gone through a lot of analysis of their own experiences now they are left with no question no complain about the world or about their life or about their past if like you know this morning only i got one whatsapp swami ji finally my son's marriage is being fixed kindly bless that it doesn't break halfway are ram this these mothers do not want you to be happy so this is only for a select few there cannot be crowds it is not for the crowds so we have seen in our last mantras that we have to slowly discard all that which can be discarded and come to the absolute void absolute absence this was the 24th verse vyomakaram mahashunyam vyapakam yo vyakamam yo na bhavayet samsari sa bhavil loke bija shok kriyam yatha yo na bhavayet he who doesn't do this bhavana now here another important principle there are two ways of practicing our spiritual life one is knowledge and understanding when we know that if i put my finger in the live socket of a electric uh, current i will get shock so if i get this knowledge will i ever put it naturally no the so knowledge is there but this is not possible for everybody knowledge then the second option given is the bhavana now understand is bhavana is the foundation of this devi kalottara agama bhavana now we all are living only on the foundation of bhavana bhavana means accepting something without logic reason is bhavana a boy sees so many girls doesn't happen to him or to the girls but one dumb girl he looks at and then the bhavana starts why she is here when i am here is there any purpose in the creation that we come together bhavana now see this is all our life we are told you are um you know rugvedi you are yajurvedi what do we understand the other day one lady told me swami ji please find out a a girl for my son i said mama i failed in my case how can i find for your son no please find out somebody but we want uh, rugvedi deshastha brahman <coughs> now that i am a rugvedi what do we understand we do not know even how to write rugved see but then that becomes our bhavana now this bhavana is based on body identification see if you work on this very sincerely you will see all the problems are dissolved they need not be solved but this we have to do nobody can there is no proxy in this see there is one couple fighting and they are listening to me for years together and how many times i must have told him i said look here you have been listening to me for years together now see you were in love and you got married now that love you have given a label and what is the label 
love is given a label now we are husband and wife so the boy is given a label husband and the wife the girl is given a uh, label wife now who is fighting earlier you loved now why are you fighting so i gave them this message but they will not take it they are destined to suffer प्यार को प्यार ही रहने दो रिश्तों के नाम ना दो लेट द लव रिमेन एज ए लव डू नॉट लेबल इट विथ एनी नेम बिकॉज हु इज फाइटिंग नॉट द गर्ल एंड द बॉय हजबेंड एंड द वाइफ वेर आर ने हाउ सिंपल बिकम स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस बिकॉज दिस इज ओनली भावना दैन आई एम अनफॉर्चुनेट I am fortunate. What is logic behind it? And we consider ourselves to be very, very intelligent. Therefore, here the teacher tells us that we have to know enough of reading, studying. Now you come back to this. What it is like being independent of the body. You are not thinking. You are doing bhavana. See, what is bhavana? We stand in front of the mirror, and you are not thinking. You are doing bhavana. How beautiful I am! See. So, bhavana is an experience which is beyond logic. i am body what is the logic so if this is our experience i am body without logic now contradict it with the contrary logic <coughs> or uh, contrary bhavana therefore <coughs> this is the spiritual practice according to this devi kalottara gama kala uttara means beyond the impact of time devi the goddess the samvit the chit shakti the uh, potentiality the maya whatever name you give is beyond the impact of time kalottar beyond so this is what we have to recognize we all suffer because of not understanding the meaning of time or kal in old age why old age throughout life we are afraid of death meaning what if i die what will happen to whom see meaning what earlier i was not there therefore i was born now i will die then i will not be there so both these things our earlier absence and our later absence where it is therefore the real spiritual practice according to devi kalottara stotra is we have to go beyond time and for that we are told number of different techniques so vyoma karam maha shunyam jagupakam yona bhavaye so we have to do this bhavana what is the bhavana vyoma karam see we can understand the uh, ornaments are created gold is not created it is already there one bhk two bhk is created space is already there so infinite is beyond the impact of time and therefore in infinite the mathematical laws are not applicable so this is the bhavana 
व्योमाकारम भावयेत व्हाट इट इज लाइक बीइंग स्पेस नाउ सी वी हैव गॉट टू फैकल्टीज वन इज इंटेलेक्ट सेकंड इज माइंड इंटेलेक्ट इज यूजिंग लॉजिक एज इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू डिडक्ट समथिंग बुद्धि इंटेलेक्ट भावना इज ऑन द फाउंडेशन ऑफ द श्रद्धा एंड श्रद्धा इज व्हाट श्रद्धा इज ब्लाइंड फेथ मेनी पीपल हैव गॉट दिस फनी नोशन दैट वी डोंट हैव ब्लाइंड फेथ फेथ इज रिक्वायर्ड ओनली इन द ब्लाइंड सी व्हेन यू नो यू डोंट रिक्वायर फेथ देयरफॉर माइंड इज यूजिंग this bhavana and intellect is using the jnanam or the logic now we have to do this bhavana on the foundation of shraddha shraddha is what i do not know whether it will lead me to the destination or not but when it is said in our scriptures it will therefore jumping into the unknown darkness is possible only we have inner strength the inner strength is the shraddha shraddha van labate jnanam tat para sayate indriya so we do this bhavana vyomakaram what it is like being like a space now things are known through the mind so the mind is given an object to reflect on what is that space now recognize this mind cannot survive without name and form so what i was talking shabda you are hearing by the ears when it is silence same thing if you are in a room where there is no light at all the darkness is so much that you can't see your own hand that time if you are seeing then what will happen seeing is happening but seer is not born because there is nothing to see this is space so when we are practicing this in our daily life again and again then you will deduct something more from this exper- experiments of your life that <clears throat> when i say i am old i am young that time this i is referring to the body but in the dream we are not identified with the body so even in the absence of the body identification we continue to exist see so if my existence is not dependent on the body shape form gender etc then who am i this is the intellect part and the bhavana part is just play what it is like being space vyoma karam bhavayet now mahashunyam mahashunyam means that where there is not a trace of otherness many times mahashunya is uh, translated or understood as the 
great void. No. Even the absence has to be established. Therefore, Mahashunya is where an iota of otherness is not possible. Otherness appears on account of some conditionings like man and husband, man and father, man and son. So, are they separate? Man is husband, man is father, man is son. So, that experience where the trace of otherness is completely absent, meaning what? There will be experience that I am married to this lady, I am a husband, but essentially I am a man. Then what will I do? I will play the role of the husband. That's it. This is the beauty of this text. Mahashunyam. Otherness may appear, but it is not given a status of reality. Therefore, in Vedanta Shastra, these three things we should clearly understand. Something is, you can do nothing about it. Something is not, you cannot do anything about it. Nasato vidyate bhavaha na bhavo vidyate asata. Then, that which appears but doesn't exist, that creates problem in our life. See? How simple it is. And it is here our Vedanta Shastra tells that that which appears but doesn't exist is an illusion and therefore when we say Mahashunya, will we ever fight or try to improve or change the mirage waters? We'll neither destroy it nor utilize it nor try to improve it nor change it because we have recognized that as an illusion. If you take this, I know you will not take it, but try. See, you take this as the takeaway. See, to one couple, I have suggested this thing. And after that, they say, Swamiji, really our fighting has gone down. They were advised, hereafter you address each other, not by names. Mithya, Mithya will come. Mithya, what do you want? <laughs> Mithya means which appears but doesn't exist. Time pass ho jata hai. But you said like this, I said like this, and you are giving a status of reality to the mirage waters and struggling. I am doing so much to harvest the mirage water, but nobody appreciates. Are Dumbo, you cannot change it. Because it doesn't exist. And therefore, those who are on this foundation, they will never get lost in social service. They will never get lost in improving the society. See, friends, Vyoma Karam Mahashunyam. So, Mahashunyam is that where there is no contamination of a sense of otherness. You know, we are so much accustomed to otherness that we want something other than us. Once I was somewhere doing my work, one gentleman came and uh, I said, hey, just give me five minutes, I'll finish it and then talk or else I forget what I'm doing. He sat. And that place was so calm and quiet Wind drop silence, as you call, like they're absolutely quiet. So I did my job. It's the five minutes, it took ten minutes. So I said, Hey, I'm so sorry. I kept waiting. You know what was his response? Amiji, what a frightening silence. Can the silence be frightening? Those who are living next to the railway track, 
they never get sleep if there is silence. Tak 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 tak. Gade. Be friends. Therefore, yo ma karam maha shunyam. Absolute absence of otherness, and therefore vyapakam. See friends, silence supports all words. Doesn't get influenced by any word. The tanmatra of the spacey shabda. So vyapakam supports all the words, all the forms. You know this word akasha is such a pregnant word. If we get the depth of it, akasha is the dhatu. When you add prefix a, it becomes akasha. Akasha means avakashat akasha. That which is readily, emptily available for everything. Akash. <coughs> Emptiness is akash. And before that, kash dhatu. If you add pra, it becomes prakash. Eliminates. So space is both. See, existence. And knowledge. Unless there is something, how can you know it? Unless you know something, how can it be proved to exist? Is it not our experience? We are simultaneously. I know. I am. Where the knowing and being merge. That is called as yoma karam mahashunyam vyapakam. Now the mantra says yo na bhavaye. He who doesn't do this bhavana, and this bhavana is twenty-four-seven, like the space doesn't react to anything. So we have to try that. Stop reacting. Start acting. When you do acting, you are not there. Like there used to be time when the ladies were not coming on the stage of drama. Now the ladies without ladies, nothing moves. So. When the ladies were not coming on the stage, that time the gents were acting as a lady. There used to be one great artist in Pune, Bala Gandharva. He used to act as a woman, and very, very much known for that. So when he was <laughs> acting as a woman, that time also he knew I am a man. Acting as a woman, knowing as a man, this is spiritual practice. Acting as a husband, living as a man. Acting as a wife, living as a woman. So when you act, you get paid for that acting. <laughs> But when you react, then you have to pay for that. Divorce. Itna jo, itna jo. See, friends, spiritual life is so simple, but we make it complicated. Therefore, yo na bhavaye. He who is not practicing this as a spiritual practice, saha samsari. He is called as a samsari. So this is the spiritual practice. So who is a samsari? One young, healthy, intelligent boy, one day caught hold of some sari, got married, and became samsari. Was it necessary? What a life without a wife! 
afterwards what you like because of the wife don't change this so sa samsari bhave loke he the samsari an example is given bija krosh bija kosh krimiriya tha krimi means an insect bija kosha in the um seed like you know the chickpea etc when they have got some um, infection or whatever there is inside one kind of a uh, small thing and it remains there only doesn't want to come out exactly the same way our whole life is we are burying ourselves under the burden of this non existing individuality and we suffer therefore here we have to slowly and steadily <coughs> focus our attention through this bhavana now for that what we have done so far the 25th mantra it is said gnano utpatti nimittam tu kriya charya prakirtitah yogam salam banam tyaktva nishprapancham vichintayet there are two aspects of our personality one is knowledge second is action see in your kundalini marga ida pingla knowledge action jnana shakti kriya shakti when jnana shakti kriya shakti they are um, supporting each other meaning knowledge is reflected in action and action is a representation of the knowledge then the gap between the two is reduced to a minimum where knowledge and action merge into one being that is called as awakening of kundalini our present condition is what knowledge is contradicted in our action knowledge is early to bed and early to rise action is late to bed and late to rise result is is the cause of unhealthy and otherwise therefore gnanot patti nimittam so what is the nimitta the cause by which we come to this understanding the teacher says kriya charya charya means how uh, no, kriya kriya means what is the practice that we do on the individual level we get up early morning we take bath we <coughs> do pranayam we do yoga we do puja we do japa that is at the individual kriya charya we have to live in the society in the family so both ways what is said in patanjali yoga darshan for this one is yama second is niyama yama sadhana is ahimsa satya asteya aparigra brahmacharya so in the yama sadhana we are not taking the world as a problem nor we are a problem for the world in short and niyam sadhana is शौच सतोष तप स्वाध्याय ईश्वर प्रणिधा नियम सो दिस नियम साधना इज वी आर नॉट ए प्रॉब्लम फॉर अवर सेल्फ ओल्ड पीपल सफर बिकॉज दे हैव नॉट डन नियम साधना एवरीथिंग दे हैव देर इज नो वरी अबाउट फूड shelter money health everything is perfect and yet they keep on suffering because they are a problem to themselves then they are generous go and distribute that problem to everybody around somebody came to my house morning हे गुप्ता जी हाउ कम यू केम सो अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग स्वामी जी आई वॉज गेटिंग बोर्ड अर्ली मॉर्निंग यू आर गेटिंग बोर्ड हु केम टू बोर यू नो नो बडी वॉज देअर 
I was alone. Therefore, I was getting bored. Now imagine a person who gets bored of himself. Where will he go? See? His condition is like what? A patient goes to the doctor and tells, Dr. Saab, please help me. What the problem? My problem is, when I sleep, I, sleep, I uh, uh, snore so loudly that because of my own snoring, my sleep gets disturbed. What should I do? Doctor said, go and sleep in the other room. <laughs> we are a problem for ourselves. Recognize this one day, you will completely change. We are a problem for ourselves. See? If I am disturbed because of um, our Subhaji, I will go away. If I am disturbed because of me, the jau to jau kaha. Wherever I go, there I am. See, my friends. Therefore, Nano Patti Nimittam Kriya, all the activities that we do so that we are controlling ourselves and we are not a problem to us and others. Then Charya, Charya is how do we relate ourselves with others? Because problems are only two. One is the problems of things around us. Second is the problem of relations around us. Things and relations. If we can manage them, we have gone in the right direction. Nyanotpati nimindabdu kriya charya prakirtita. We have to do that. Then, Similarly, yogam salam manam. Further, it is yoga. Whatever you do, yoga. And alam manam. You take the support of something. Om Namah Shivaya, 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 Om Namah Shivaya. Salam manam. Now, tyaktva. Now, here he said, give up everything. There was one Swami who came for studying Vedanta. And he was a Krishna devotee. So having nice uh, vigraha, doing the puja, giving bath and chandanam, everything. He said, Swamiji, I want to study Vedanta. I said, uh, what are you? You tell me something about you. He said, I am a Krishna Bhakta and uh, I do puja and chanting and all this. I said, if you take my advice, don't study. Go back, continue what you are doing. No, 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 I want to study Vedanta. Okay, you are welcome. That time you were studying Keno Panishad. And that particular mantra was there when he came. Yan manasana manute yena ahur manomatam tadeva brahmatvam vidhi nedam yadirmupasate that which cannot be thought of by the mind, but that because of the mind is able to think, that is the Brahman, and that Brahman you are, and you have to know, you have to be that. When he heard it after the lecture, he became so frustrated. Swamiji, do you mean I have to give up everything? I said, yes, you have to give up everything. Remember one basic thing. Anything you do mechanically, you do not require mind associated with it. You are all drivers, car drivers. When you were learning, you were given so many instruction, names, this, that, is it not? So do you remember all that? Mechanically it goes on. See? When our life becomes mechanical, we lose the charm. As much charm you had when you were young and you were in love with each other and in running and hiding somewhere so that nobody sees, that time joy and now are a Rama. Don't remind us now. What happened? Anything you do mechanically, you lose the charm of life. 
this is what happens with most of the people they'll be doing the japa mechanical one such a person in bangalore asked me this question swami ji i have been doing this ram japa ram nam Oh, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, for so many years. And even without my effort, it goes on. But then what next? I said, you ask a wrong person. No, 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 you tell me. Because I follow you regularly and I feel good. I said, uh, are you ready? He said, yes. Look here. Do not do the Japa. Swamiji, yes. And watch your mind. Anything you do mechanically and for any reason you have to drop it, you develop a sense of guilt. Why did I do that? Those who are, suppose, example, uh, doing Ekadashi. On Ekadashi, they are supposed to eat good food. That's why I like Ekadashi in the house of uh, Gujarati and Marwadi. Really enjoy. So, on Ekadashi, you are not supposed to eat food. But if you happen to eat for whatever reason, Oh God, now I have eaten food on Ekadashi. Now what will happen? Nothing, you go to hell. Friends, live in this world in such a manner that no arrogance of success nor the guilt of failure is recorded on your mind. I was in Middle East, probably many years before, either Kuwait or Bahrain somewhere, and with my clothes. So one child somewhere, he asked, Swamiji, your dress and our sweepers here, they have got the same dress. He said, I am a sweeper. Really? I said, yes. They clean the outside garbage. We clean the inside garbage. <laughs> Dono jadu laga de, nothing else. Be friends. Therefore, Janot Pati Nimittam Tu Kriya Charya Prakirtida. So these two things. Yes, we have to become disciplined. Then we have to have proper relationship. Everything is true. Then you have to do the yoga. Very good, continue. Then you have to have alambanam. You must do some puja, you must do the chanting, the japa, everything is true. But, tyaktva, do this experiment on you again and again. See, if you are following, let's take the um, fast on Thursday. That day, knowing it is Thursday, eat. And then watch your mind. I don't know why did I listen to this Swami unnecessarily. I just don't know. Satya. Be friends. Recognize this. Live in this world in such a manner that protect your mind from gathering any impression, good or bad. Good impressions create a fictitious personality about ourselves. We all have an image about ourselves. The world also has an image about us. When these two images have got a big parallax, then the jagda begins. See, my friends, therefore, this is all okay. But how long are you going to continue with this? 
सो क्रिया चर्या योग आलंबनम त्यक्वा देन निष्प्रपंचम विचित देन व्हाट इट इज लाइक बीइंग इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ एवरीथिंग in other words that which supports the absence has to be present therefore that which is existing in the absence of everything that is our essential nature is it not our day to day experience waking comes and goes do we come and go anywhere dream comes and goes do we come and go anywhere deep sleep begins and ends do we end any time samadhi begins and over are we over and the best part is we don't have to do anything my friends now this example i give a number of times very simple vision is eliminating all colors and forms now what sadhana the vision has to do that it is not influenced by any color and form what they have to do nothing that is our natural state we are untouched childhood has come and gone what happened to us nothing finish came and went away that you are doing nothing therefore spiritual practice is either jnana pradhan or bhavana pradhan not kriya pradhan do this do this do this do this friends so the foundation is knowledge and practice is bhavana we are now convinced that mai eva sakalam jatam mai sarvam pratishtitam mai sarvam layam yati tad brahma dvayam asmya we are convinced everything is existing in me everything is sustained in me everything goes back to me the ocean says all the waves are in me they are sustained in me they come back to me is it not when waves are there is it a burden to the ocean when they die is it a loss in the same manner when waking and dream come do we get anything deep sleep samadhi do we lose anything तो दिश प्रपंचम विचित वॉट इट इज लाइक बीइंग इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ एवरीथिंग इन अदर वर्ड्स मेक एब्सेंस एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस आई एम पर्पजली अवॉइडिंग द वर्ड मेडिटेशन मोस्ट करप्टेड वर्ड एनी टॉम डी कैन हेरी चलो मेडिटेशन करते मेडिटेशन इज नॉट एन एक्शन इट इज एन एक्सपीरियंस दैट विच इज क्रिएटेड विल बी डिस्ट्रॉइड दे आर फोर निष्प्रपंचम विचित मेक एबसेंस एज an object of experience 
तो एबसेंस ऑफ वॉट एबसेंस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वट इज द वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड इज नेम एंड फॉर्म अस्थि भाति प्रिय नाम रूप इति पंचाशकम अद्यत्र ब्रह्म रूपम जगद रूपम तथोद्वय यू कैन निगेट द नेम एंड फॉर्म ऑफ द ऑर्नामेंट यू कैनॉट निगेट द गोल्ड यू कैन सी द बर्थ एंड द डेस ऑफ द वेव्स यू कैनॉट सी द बर्थ एंड डेस ऑफ द ओशन therefore when we are practicing nish prapancham so what is prapancha prapancha is to begin with this two thing name and the form therefore uh, vichintayet now try to experience absence of sounds or words so this is consciously successfully attained if we have some basic data mind expresses as words mind is unmanifest speech therefore mind alone is called as vaikhari vani madhyama vani pashanti vani paravani paravani is unmanifest speech pashanti vani is ready to manifest speech madhyama vani is others are not able to hear but we talk to ourselves and vaikhari vani is we talk to others they also can hear so the mind itself is speech so first step we have to know this that the mind should not fall down in the form of words man falls down gets married he become the husband so the husband has come from outside or what from the man only the husband has come out the so is his husband real man is real mind is real not the words words are many mind is one so with this foundation of understanding now find out where are the words coming from you will come to discover there are two sources one is we ourselves second is the world so the first nish prapancham vichintayet first step will be stop talking to yourself world is not created but we should be convinced then only it has a meaning now to get this firm conviction try another experiment think whatever you want to think but don't use words while thinking you cannot think isn't it so we have to be convinced <coughs> mind interacts with the world through the words something is good something is bad something is essential something not this is how the samsara is created
the boy starts uh, giving the reaction of his mind she is beautiful she is intelligent she is uh, see these two things cannot go together yaar no 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 so you don't know she is beautiful and so intelligent how it is possible And because of that, pe 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 get married on the same mind. You know when you people do some puja, the pandit ji gives you some achamana, isn't it? Kishwaan ma, Narayan ma, Goindan ma. Before you do any holy work, you have to wash your mouth. That is the reason of that. Here, without washing the mouth. I love you. I hate you. you know? See, friends, recognize this, and once you recognize this, then you will understand the meaning of our Maha Mantra. देखो, सुनो, मत बोलो. One thing you have conquered if you press a practice this, and the second thing. Sounds not only we produce, but from others also the sounds come. Now we have no control over that. If there is a truck or a bus or sound or fan or something, we can't do anything. But then you have to practice. Listen to silence. So both of them are working on the mind. So. But how to listen to silence? Ears can hear only sounds. Yes, then, then remain indifferent to all the sounds. Do you know what is happening to you? You are hearing those minute sounds, cricket sounds. Which we normally don't hear, because you are still struggling and remaining seated in your ears. Listening to silence means remain indifferent to all the sounds. So two things together: not talking to oneself and. Not getting disturbed by any sound outside. Yanot patim nivintam tu kriya charya prakirtitaha yogam salam banam tyaktva. Now, whatever you have done is over and drop everything. Now, get engaged in this thing. Nish prapancham vichintayet. So, do not talk to yourself. Listen to silence. In this experience, you are getting nothing. Contrary to that, you are losing everything. Is it not our experience also in the deep sleep? What do we get? We lose everything. That which is supporting. The presence and absence of everything is beyond presence and absence. We can never have the experience of our absence. 
therefore there is no need to tell that i am present as a result when presence and absence is deleted you go beyond time earlier i was there now i am not there later i don't know i'll be there or not time all the time one simple spiritual practice i tell you you will not do it that is what i tell don't talk about your past don't ask anybody about their past you have nothing to talk then what you do talk about uh, politics when you talk about mirage waters does it create sin or merit no because you are talking about illusions governments are illusions they are not real andhe nai vaniya mana yathanda the fools select the other fools to be the rulers this is what major this your democracy is democracy is the rule of the majority and majority is always the fools so in democracy the fools rule the wise and wise keep quiet ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ